Moving on, Pakistan's parliament has cleared a constitutional amendment bill in what is being seen as a big win for the Pakistan government. The lower house of the Pakistan parliament, which is the National Assembly, it passed the 26th amendment bill with a two-third majority hours after the bill was passed in the Senate. Pakistan Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif termed it a historic day for the nation and its people. Sharif stated that the amendment will make the provisions of justice more accessible to the people. He also hailed the members of the National Assembly who voted in favor of the bill. Meanwhile, the Pakistani president has postponed the ratification and signing ceremony of the 26th constitutional amendment bill. On Sunday, the bill was passed by the upper house of parliament with a two-third majority of 65 votes against four. Now, the 26th constitutional amendment bill includes provisions like capping the age of the chief justice at 65 or a tenure of three years, whichever comes first. It also gives the power to appoint the Chief Justice of Pakistan to a parliamentary committee. The panel shall consist of eight members from the National Assembly and four members from the Senate. The sewer motor powers of the High Courts are restricted to purview of matter. These changes also end military trials for the civilians. And well, for more on this, the Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has sent us this report from outside Parliament in Islamabad. Take a look. Well, the 26th constitutional amendment of Pakistan's constitution has gotten through uh, with the barest of the margins won't be wrong to say despite of extensive negotiations back and forth uh, the prime minister was all jubilant the information minister ataul atara while speaking to beyond has said that this is uh, literally going to democratize the judicial process and that uh, with what has been on message in the pakistani constitution with the parliament being supreme that has been followed through a consensus now it is pertinent to mention the fact that the constitutional amendment uh, largely looms around uh, with regards to clipping powers of the judiciary uh, but as the government says is democratizing the powers of the judiciary uh, the uh, the vote went down all, almost all night. Uh, the session uh, started quite pretty late. Uh, but uh, despite of that, uh, it has now ended. And uh, the government seems to be visibly jubilant with a pat on their back for the fact that they've pulled off uh, quite of a big deal with regards to the number game. Anas Malik in Islamabad, Pakistan, outside the Pakistani parliament for Beyond World is One.